So on the channel, we've reviewed a lot of bicycle bags, and I mean a lot of bicycle bags. And many of you guys have been asking for our top list of bike bags that you should get. So I'm gonna break this up into parts, moving from the front of the bike to the rear of the bike. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my five favorite handlebar bags that don't require a rack. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you love bike touring, bike commuting, the supple life, then you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. So this is a top five list of our favorite rackless handlebar bags in no particular order. Starting off with number five, which is the smallest of the bunch, and that is the Outer Shell Adventure Draw Cord Handlebar Bag. This bag is perfect for a day ride. If you've got a mirrorless camera, it works great with this bag. I love using it when we do ride videos. I'll stick my GoPro in here, some batteries, and be good to go to film a YouTube video. The way this attaches is that it's got two straps that go around your handlebar. And one of my favorite things, which is super simple, but few bag makers actually do, instead of using a webbing strap to go around your fork, Kyle uses some bungee cordage, which means the bag is always in tension and it's not bouncing around. Another cool feature about this bag is the way it closes. You've got, again, this adjustable bungee cord, and this goes over your steer tube and that holds it in place and you can control the tautness of this connection via this cord lock here. So you can make it easier to get into or tighter to get into on the fly. And this makes it super easy to open this bag up while moving so I can pull out a camera or you can pull out a camera or a snack. Do what you gotta do, put it back in there and close it with the bungee closure. So super cool handlebar bag, not the biggest one, but super versatile and I, I love using this uh, when I do bike review videos because I don't have to mount a rack to uh, the bike. Number two on our list is the North Street Scout 11 barrel bag. Super functional, uh, a lot more capacity than the outer shell adventure uh, draw cord bag. And the way this attaches to your bike is with these Velcro straps that go around the handlebar and loop back over itself. As you can see, it's circular. It's a barrel of uh, bikey goodness. There is one zippered pocket here for some organization as well as leash for your key. And this is great for putting uh, a lot of snacks. You could put in a base layer here, a slightly larger camera. Since it is a little bit larger than the other one, you do need a couple of inches of clearance between your handlebar and your front tire. So if you'd like to slam that stem and don't have have a lot of vertical distance then this might not be for you but if you're touring and you have more relaxed upright bike then this is a great bag to consider so number three on our list is the swift industries elwa hip bag slash handlebar bag and this is cool this is a collaboration between swift industries and tankar rodco and it's got a lot of nifty features like a patch slash fly patch dryer you can you can stick your wet flies here and dry them out while you're riding or while you're hiking around it's got two main zippered pockets got a smaller one in the front and a larger main compartment with some organization inside. And what's cool about this hip bag is it's pretty feature rich. You can wear it as a hip bag or if you wanna ride with it on your bike, you can tuck this into the back of itself like so. So pretty easy, no big straps to remove and potentially lose and uh, you attach it to your handlebar with these webbing straps and loop it through this guy. The thing I love the most about this bag is actually um, on, on the waist straps, you'll see it's got molly uh, webbing, so you can attach things to it, other molly accessories. Or their little sidekick pouch here, which you can attach to a walled basket, your handlebar, or the side of the waist pack. I actually found this super handy when I was using it this summer. I would put things from a water bottle to a a uh, can of bear spray when we go fishing in grizzly country. And when you don't need it, you can take it off and it becomes a lot more svelte bag. This can also be paired with uh, their handlebar roll uh, straps. So this becomes an accessory pouch to a larger bike packing dry bag system. I didn't get to test that out, but it is on their website. So check it out if you want more information. Number four on our list is the Ortlieb accessory pouch. So this often gets overlooked as a standalone bag, but it actually works as a great just handlebar bag. Usually people buy this in coordination and use it as an accessory pouch with their handlebar bike packing roll. It's actually a great bag that stands on its own. And unlike the other bags in this review, this is completely waterproof. I mean, you can't throw it in the river, but it does have a roll top closure here and has this nicely designed buckle that just loops over the front and you're good to go. So this attaches to your handlebar via uh, these Velcro straps that go around your handlebar and loop through itself and closes 
just like the other ones. And overall, it's a great bag. It takes a little bit more time to get into because you do have to undo the buckle. But when you do, it's got a ton of room. You can put uh, layers in here, snacks. Another great thing about this bag is that it's got a ton of capacity, but when it's empty, it's not very bulky at all because it has, it doesn't have any like structural lining in there. So it really gets out of the way when you don't have things in it. And last but not least, another bag from our friends at Swift Industries. This is their Paloma bag and this canvasy X-Pack material. And I know I said that this would be a rackless handbar bag video. It does kind of have a rack. It uses the click fix adapter. So you have to attach that to your handlebars, but you don't have to mount it to your fork or anything like that. So if you've got a bike with a carbon fork that won't take a front rack, you can still have some rando goodness on your bike with the Paloma. Pretty simple design. It's got a pocket in the front. It's got a see-through map case here with uh, Velcro. A nice bright yellow interior so you can find all your things in here. It does have some organization pockets so you can put uh, a journal, pens, pencils, your, your drawing supplies, your fishing supplies. And one of the things I really love about this bag is uh, how it mounts to the click fix. It uses this metal bar. Other, many other click fix compatible bags have a big kind of plastic thing here and the, the bags tend to ride kind of high. Because of how this is uh, designed, this bar kind of suspends the bag. It generally sits a little bit lower than the other click fix handlebar bags. And similar to the outer shell draw cord uh, handlebar bag, uh, you can close this in two ways. You can either just wrap this bungee cordage to this uh, tab down here, or the way I like to ride with it I think it's called like the random method is you take this and this goes around your steer tube. So generally with enough tension to keep things in here or to keep the, the environment out, but with enough room. So as you're riding, you can just sneak your hand in here, grab some snacks, grab a camera, or just quickly undo this from your steer tube and you can get in and out of bags super easily, uh, one-handed while you're pedaling. So I'm gonna have information for all these bags in the description below. These are all great companies, independent makers, uh, they pay a lot of attention to craftsmanship and detail. So these bags are not cheap, but they are among the best that we've tried. What's your favorite rackless handlebar bag? I know I didn't get to talk about a ton of other brands. I haven't had a chance to try everything, but of all the things that we've tried, these are, are standouts and you can't go wrong with any of these. So if you like this content, consider supporting the channel via the PayPal or Patreon links below or by buying a supple t-shirt. And as always, keep the supple side down.